It's great to be with you for another daily devotional, and I need to be really honest. As you can tell by what you're seeing, I forgot. Like, I never film a devotion right here because this place, my office, this part of it, my desk is usually a mess. Maybe this will be the inspiration for me to clean it. But listen, um, I was about ready to take a bite out of my sandwich when Brenda walked in and she goes, have you released your daily devotion yet today? And then all of a sudden I had panic. Now I got to tell you something, Heather was right there and she even said that she forgot, which that's rare, but for me it can happen all the time. But you can tell by my desk, it's just been so much stuff. I mean, we even got insect killer right there uh, that we were working with. This is a note, by the way, I, I wrote on the box a note to remind me to order another mic cable. So that's there until I can get that done. Uh, well, we got the chips, got my hat, Bible, the, the sermon stuff that I was working on last week. It's just a lot of stuff. And I'm going to be honest, I completely forgot. Isn't it nice to know that in the craziness and busyness of our life, even when we forget, God never forgets about us. I love this line in one of the Psalms that says, even if my father and mother abandoned me, oh God, you never will. You never will. You, if everybody stops thinking about me or they don't, they just kind of pass over me, God, you never will. So there are things that I have to write. There are things that I have to do. But most of all, the best thing I can do sometimes, honestly, is stop and just say, God, um, help me to rest in your presence and help to be with me. And that's really what I hope this kind of conveys to you is that God will never forget. He'll always be with us. And he's always there. Always. Even when life seems a little bit too busy. God says, I'm still here for you. I'm right here. This Sunday, we're going to talk about how God really is there for us and how him being so with us and what he has done on the cross for us actually frees us up and gives us such amazing grace. It really is amazing grace. I want to share that message with you this Sunday. Now, remember, this Sunday you can join us either online uh, at 8.15 or 9.30 for our contemporary service, or if you're going to come to church this Sunday, remember, it's 10 o'clock outside, and there'll be food afterwards. There'll be some blow-up things for kids to play on. So that all of that stuff will be there, too. So I look forward to seeing you either online or in person this Sunday. But until we get there, if your life is a little bit like this, and you thought you forgot something, just stop and do what we're going to do right now. Let's pray. God, we thank you that you're with us. It has been a busy week, and it's been a busy day. And I forgot. And I, I just thank you, Lord, for the moment that we can just stop in no matter how busy it is, no matter how fast it seems the winds of life are blowing around us, we can just stop and pray and just relax. So, Lord, taking a deep breath, and I'm just thanking you for all that you do. Let the rest of the day be guided by your Holy Spirit as you've been with us all along, even though we didn't realize that you're still here. Thank you for each person watching. I pray your blessings on their day and their evening as well. We turn to you and find rest. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. We'll see you Sunday.